many motor cars. I six. And you, I twenty-two. How many aeroplanes? I three. And you, I thirty-two. How many wives? I just one. That's all the church will allow me. Lucky, lucky you. I've twenty-seven. What? Twenty-seven. One is official. The rest of them are concubines. Are they all pretty? Come see, come see. How many houses? Let's see now. In Austria, three chalets. In Belgium, three chateaus. Three villas in Florence. A finca in Peru. I expected more than that. Just a moment. A ranch in Arizona. Six buildings in Chicago. Besides seven skyscrapers back in old New York. Come now. Only seven skyscrapers. And you? Me? Ninety-nine little cities and six big towns. A marriage might be feasible. It might be possible. But with such a stubborn son, and my son as mine, what shall we do? Maybe the Maharani might give some advice. Heaven forbid, she is an ignoramus, though she is good. The only reason I can stand her is because she is the mother of my only son. But now. You have only one son from twenty-seven wives. This is amazing. <laughs> it seems rather improbable, but twenty-six of them are sterile, and the people were suggesting that I was not quite virile. They were all quite mistaken. The wedding was hardly done when she gave birth to a son. Red, blue, I, I could not have done better if I tried. He does not look like his father. Perhaps my father's father or my father's father's father was a pure Anglo-Saxon. Here she is, as you can see. She is quite stupid. And shaped like a pear, but she gave me an heir. And strange as it may seem, she does not read, she does not write. She seldom talks, she never walks. However, let me tell you, at bedtime she's all right. <laughs> But do you know what her favorite pastime really is? Not hunting a polo. And you may think it strange. While she stuffs herself with honey, she makes money at the stock exchange. It seems to me she's as smart as can be. It seems to me, it seems to me, it seems to me you're wasting your time. But if you want to ask her to advise us, go ahead. I, yes, you needn't be afraid. After you, oh, come now, don't be shy. Your, your highness, if you please. What, what about this marriage? You take care of your daughter. We'll find a way to make our son obey. Bless her, how sensible she is. What a child, yes. What a woman, yes. 
We'll show them our authority and tell them what to do. Where are you going? I'm going to look for my daughter. It's all this But the Americans leave it to the Indians. Quickly, a wall. You summon the prince to me. You go and tell the young lady that her father wishes to speak to her. Pity, pity, 
of luck did you have? Disastrous. And you, me too. Doesn't your daughter want to get married? She agrees to be married to your son, but not until she has caught her prehistoric savage. That's exactly the sort of thing my son has been saying. What should we do? Maybe a charming Maharani might give us some advice. That is useless, no. She's so foolish. Your, your highness, can you not offer some suggestion? If we cannot find an honest-to-goodness wild man, Then, of course, we must invent one. Let her keep on something new. What a woman, what a genius. Pardon me, but I think I know the man who could do it. And who would that be? He's a lad from the country, strong and handsome for the last two years. He has been courting me. Where is your splendid champion? Just by chance, he's waiting for me outside in the kitchen. He has come to give me a present because today's my birthday. Go get him right away, my child. <laughs> A 
Abdul, would you like to make some money in a hurry? Oh, yes. All right, then. All you have to do is to play the part of a wild man in a jungle. Of a wild man? Me, sir. Don't say no. Don't say no. Don't say no. Don't say no. As a matter of fact, sir, I do not know how to act. Now, darling, don't you worry. I'll show you what to do. I did not know that there would be a fellow so naive as he. You see, you see, you just rely on me. You, you see, see, you see, it's easy as can be. I really am not able. I was brought up in a stable. You are perfect, you, you are perfect. You are perfect, you can do it, do it. Practice, you can do it. With one few, a few directions, you can do it to perfection. I would look like a fool. I have never been to school. Now, darling, don't you worry. I'll show you what to do. He's just a simple country hick. He's just a man to do the trick. You see, you see, you just rely on me. You see, you see, it's easy as can be. It's easy as can be. You see, you see, it's easy as can be. As a prehistoric caveman, you don't need an education. You just follow my instructions and use your imagination. Do not cut your hair or whiskers. You're a creature of the jungle. You have never learned to speak. Your intelligence is weak. At first you are ferocious, then be timid and surprised. If you have to go someplace, make you say no so. Ah, as they do in Hollywood. Bravo, bravo. What could be simpler? As they do in Hollywood. First we lead you in the jungle, then you let yourself be captured by a lady from Chicago. Then we show you to the public. In a week or two, maybe three, we will set you free with a large compensation. Uh, uh, this American over here will gladly pay your fee. Who? Oh, me? Hurry, hurry, he is waiting. A thousand dollars. Are you joking? Then suppose we make it ten. I don't need it. I assure you that I do not want to be an actor. Then suppose we make it fifty. I don't want to be an actor. Oh, come on, make it a hundred. Oh. Let's conclude our agreement. Read and sign our little contract. One dollar in advance. The other, 99999 at the termination of employment. But what would I do with all that money? Wait now, listen. I am the hunter. If you like to catch me, you sure is weapon for bracelets and rings. A thin pawn, offer no charm. A few Yes. 
to think it over. For my, my God! God.
my mother is sleeping. The others all are hunting. Stop it! How many times must I tell you? I am already engaged, and I have no eyes for any other man. But I am sick with love for you. You are already engaged to the American girl. Ah, that anthropologist! Find the most attractive. She's not for me. In any case, you are going to marry her. We shall have put a man on the planet Mars before she finds his mythical savage. Wherever or not she finds him, your marriage is not arranged. Do not torment me. Have you lost to me, your father? <laughs> Let me go. When I wake up, your I dare you, I dare you to try to escape me. I shall ensnare you, you fool me no longer. My fawn of the forest, I mean to embrace you. Don't try to resist me, for my arms are stronger. Believe me, believe me, if ever a hunter, or empty to chase me, if ever a hunter, won't embrace me, he'll soon find out it was useless to try it. So lay down your Sardula, Sardula, my soft little kitten. My hand loves to stroke you. My arm loves to hold you. And if you resist me, I know how to hold you. I know to keep chasing and trapping and snatching. No hunter can match you. But since I'm a fool, I can run like the wind. And since I'm a kitten, I can fight you and scratch you. The hunters are returning! Assemble the court!
Safe, or I'll have them cut your head off. Orion Hall, he's not, no, no, he's not, he's not. Accidental, of course not, of course not. Good and talk. Good day, good day. No, the key is not.
my dear children, here is the answer to all your problems. You two shall be engaged just as you are now. We'll postpone the wedding six months. Is that clear? That's perfect. And you, dear Kitty? Perfect. Now that our problem has been solved, let's all go in and have a banquet. A feast in honor of dear Kitty. Cost shall be no object. For us Indians, a swoop of dandelions. And for you Christians, roasted lions. up his mind has no right to complain <laughs> only for you lovely son I have renounced my freedom and peace hunting and Oh, 
It seems to me, let me rest for just a moment. I'm afraid I can't allow it to prepare you for your debut. I have still a lot to teach you. There's some further information needed for your education. For all the boys of private land, we take our Slowly, slowly, please don't rush me. What is the trouble? I only said the art of love. The art of love. What the devil does that mean? It is really not so frightful. 
find your customs rather odd and quite repellent. Let's have no more of your nonsense. Do you want another meeting? All right, then. I'll have to try it. I can do better. Oh, but civilized laws are not a matter. It is so free. What have I been doing? A bit of prose. Is that it's all? Fun. How surprising. Yes, let's continue with the rest. Is there more? First, we sit upon the sofa, then we have a little music. And we turn the lights on low, then some whiskey. Some whiskey. Whiskey is the surest way, and the best to keep the cold in a cool This seems strange, but I'll obey. Bye. 
bound as I am, what can I this evening your work is over now you can return again to india give the ticket for the plane tonight so i am to be airmailed like a package but we must keep it a secret my mercedes is waiting outside in the street and i've told my chauffeur he's to take you to the airport in a hurry this money i owe you is much too bulky for you to carry. But you needn't worry, you will find it in a briefcase when you're leaving. I confess that I will not be sorry to go back home to India. I too will not be sorry. Those long private lessons with my daughter have had me somewhat worried. 
and I imagine what you think I'm made of. I don't know who I am or where I'm going. My battered heart is torn to pieces between obedience and pride and a passion. Listen, my boy, you are free now, but listen to reason. Take a look at what you see around you. To you it seems a paradise. To me it seems a prison. To me it is a prison. I'm the slave of a thousand masters, a thousand aggravations, defeats and disasters. The telephone, the dictaphone, and all the other headaches. The office, the auditor, stenographer, and coffee breaks. The refrigerator, and the elevator, and the dentist, the doctor, the tables, and the bar, and the plumber, and the board, the presidents, the debtors, and the textbooks, and the letters, and tax bills, repair bills, and liquor bills, and sleeping pills, and passports, and the airports, and lunches, and brunches. And poker, and bridge, and black tie, and tails. Save yourself, dear fellow, get out while yet you may. It's better not to wait, for it's soon to be too late. You still can get away. Save yourself, dear fellow, go while yet you may. The weddings, invitations, and market fluctuations, and capital and labor, my duty to my neighbor. Appointments, officials, and almost damned initials, the PTA, the UN, and NATO, the contribution to Soleto, and speeches, conventions, insurance, and attentions. And lawyers, commissions, and lawsuits, and hungry politicians, and babies, and nurseries, and funerals, anniversaries. Save yourself, dear fellow, get out while yet you may. It's better not to wait. It soon will be too late, my boy, so don't be late. And let's get started. Don't make them any long erudite speeches. They won't listen, they're just a bunch of leeches. All they're after is my liquor. And the
Costa Sumita. What a way to come. What a way to come. All this is so frightening and inhuman. What am I to do? What am I to say? I am thinking of some way I can escape from here today. Enlightened class of society, kindly step forward and introduce yourself as briefly as possible so that he may have a quick conception of what we mean by science and progress. First, the clergy.
I am the chief exponent of the new school of painting. Maybe I should explain that I paint with a chain. And my genius consists in the choosing of a fixture that brings out the true artistic texture. I am the chief exponent of the new school of poetry. My poem is as follows. I, 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 I am me and me is I, I, God is me and I am he, God and I and me, 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 me. Chief exponent of the new school of music. In the theater, I'm obscure but progressive, and at last I have succeeded in avoiding the dramatic and expressive. My style is dry and drastic. When I write chamber music, I am lengthy but sarcastic. <laughs> but when I write for orchestra, I erupt like a volcano. <laughs> Lots of sound, but not a clue. Listen, listen, now we will play you a perfect example of the new Alea Dodecaphonic style.
Hunted for that scoundrel Abdul. God only knows where he is hiding. It's your fault. For a few measly dollars, he has cheated and deceived you. Forget him, Kitty dear. Come now. Why not give him up and make your father happy? Especially since it will save me $99,999, which I still owe him. Because this is that you tell me. You have my promise to marry for daughter. But first, I must find out the truth for myself. of our people are arriving.
desolation. Come, this is not the time for sadness. You'll soon forget your woes when you have eaten up my delicious luncheon. <laughs> and you, you scoundrels, go and search all around. They say that he is hiding somewhere near here. And if you do not find him right away, I'll condemn you all to death. <laughs>
I begin to wonder if I'll ever get back to dear old Chicago. But you, your face, don't you remember? Oh, lady, lady, let's not start that again. But listen, think now, have you ever been in Egypt? Many years ago. But why should that surprise you? Don't speak. Give me your hand. But what is wrong? No, I remember. Remember? Yes, yes. It was on one of those little ships. What ship? On the Nile. On the Nile. That little girl, burning for love, that was a jewel. Oh, the you look just like Valentino. Oh, heaven help us. Don't you respect me? Heaven help us. Have you forgotten? Are you choking? How could I forget those things that we did there by the pyramid? Oh, oh please hold on to me. <laughs> I am fainting. Control yourself. Please hold me up. I'll never make it. No, I must tell you a dreadful secret which I have hidden. Oh, <laughs> 
peace and quiet. Just a moment, just a moment, we do not intend to harm you. We have not come here to hurt you or disturb you or alarm you. Just a moment, just a moment, we do not intend. $99,999. To show you that Mr. Scattergood is an honest American, we have come here to give you what we owe you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate your gesture. As for your money, I tell you frankly, I have no use for it. Listen, listen. He has no use for money. I should cross the sea again and face those fiends of a hell in that dreadful world you say you love so well.
no, wait, no. Just a moment. Your father, what do you say? I am for it. Do it her way. What goes on here? You're a madman. Think of all we have invested. This is what always happens when you do business with the Americans. Come, Papa, let us be happy. What is this now? You have chosen her to marry. I'm a good mind to have you shot. Why the sausage is longer? You are strong, but love is stronger. What goes on here? Who are you all in this together? Keep his time to remember. Why not keep his companion? How is this all of a sudden? Everyone has changed his mind! Oh, yeah, I'm not understanding! Be quiet! Be quiet! Everyone but me is crazy! Lovely, lovely creature, once my terrifying teacher, so superior, so above me, who predicts that she would love me.
come now on, I'll dedicate my precious time to my priceless stamp collection. and snakes. I think you must be crazy. Oh, Father, you really are so innocent. Innocent. <laughs> of course, I must stay here, but this is just the beginning. Just believe me, the body will all to live and walking and wait to read the city. Good heavens, if Abdul finds out, he'll kill you. Kill me? <laughs> My name is Abdul Hassan. I'm all the way to the Oh, <laughs> 
And be 